Hi there, Jason Nowell here with Beach Drone Services out of Largo, Florida. I was out at Fairway Village the other day doing some real estate and drone photography for Mrs. Jean Lepore, and I took the liberty while I was there to send my mapping drone up to around 200 feet to do a quick map of the golf course just to see what we could learn, see what I could do with it. I normally map construction sites and I've been doing some uh, beach erosion mapping for the city of Indian Rocks Beach, but I wanted to try it on a golf course because I think there may be a market for that. Um, and yours was an easy, uh, smaller area where I could test with. So I wanna show you some of the things that I learned. Um, First thing I learned was my measurements here are incredibly accurate. I lined this up like I would hit it, and um, I'm left-handed, but uh, <laughs> I have an advantage on this hole. Um, anyway, this uh, is pretty much exactly in line with the tees, and the other one is pretty much exactly in line with the hole. And if I click on that line, it will tell me that this... To go out here to click on that line it's very sensitive um it will tell me that that's 350.99 feet from the tee box to the here it's probably exactly 350 feet but my point down here is probably not exactly in between the tee boxes but i did the best i could so just a couple of things i wanted you to see um was that you can also measure that you can measure the the um, surface area of the green. So that green has 2,493 square feet of surface area. I also did the lake out here, um, and it will tell us that it has about 91,799 square feet of surface area. So that is some of the things you can do from a two-dimensional level. There is also something in here called uh, plant health which I won't get too deep into this. There's a technology called Normalized Difference Vegetative Index, which can tell you everything you ever wanted to know about your vegetation on your golf course. Um, it takes a lot more expensive sensor than what I've used here. Uh, this uses red, green, and blue from an RGB camera, just like we see in. And um, when you add the multi-spectral camera uh, that can do the, NDV, the NVDI mapping, it uh, also takes like a red edge and a near infrared and an ultraviolet. It captures spectrums that visual cameras don't see. And it can tell you how moist your soil is, if you've got places where there's standing water, whatever. But this plant health um, just uses red, green, and blue, so it's not as accurate. But even this can see things that you don't see with the naked eye. Um, for example, um, this area up in here, there's a couple of spots. This right here may be an area where you've got a broken sprinkler head or something, you know, you, you, you got super green right all around this area and then nothing out here. I don't know what it could be. I'm not a, I'm not a groundskeeper, but that area interested me. So I decided to look at it really close and then turn off my plant health layer. And you can see that there is indeed a little greener area there. Now, when you're looking at your golf course back here, you don't really necessarily notice that that's that much greener than anything else. But when you get down close to it, it you know, it's like the same as you can tell where your sprinkler lines run here. Um, and for some reason, this little spot here is getting more water than most. And these areas right down here are getting less water. So if again, if you look at that, like that and then turn that plant health back on you can see it right there there's the dead area there's the live area so it's just a way to visualize data um if we ever wanted to get really crazy um i probably will eventually add the uh, multi-spectral sensor to my arsenal so we'll have that capability as well um moving on to the three-dimensional part of this i was going to try to keep this under five minutes i don't know if i'll make it but um i also generated a three-dimensional model of your entire golf course which is pretty neat by itself um, really allows you to look at some things in different ways and when you come in here now and click on this line where we had that elevation line um, if I turn on that surface profile here I can actually see it there um, and I can see the rise you can see this the, the, the dip right before the the green and we can see the slope of up to the tee box Y'all's course is pretty flat, so this isn't as impressive as it could be, but just wanted you to see it and know that that was there. I have no idea what I did there, but we will hopefully not have to start all over again. Um, <laughs> so the most amazing thing about the 3D part, I'll just make this 
part a little shorter um, other than the fact that you can fly around your golf course and look at it from any angle you want um, and map your holes like this I would kind of like to do this square off the tee box have the measurements on there you know uh, the surface area of all the sand traps we could do all that stuff but that takes time and um, the good thing about this is you only have to do it once um, because each week when you fly it will just continue to add to that I want to talk about this right here really fast um, this is something unique I've done this on construction sites before I saw this little pile of sand laying here and I thought you know I bet that's a dump truck yard or a dump truck load full of sand which is 20 cubic yards and so I decided to make sure I included that in my map and then I just kind of came up here you can turn the uh, the annotations off and that will go away but you can see I did a pretty good job of outlining exactly where that sand pile goes um, so that I got all of the sand in my little measurement here when I take my measurement what it does is it actually builds a three-dimensional model of that surface area that I selected um, a really accurate one <laughs> And then it comes in and tells me that I have 331 uh, square feet or 19.86 square yards of sand. I was telling you that a 20 yard, you know, a dump truck, when you order a dump truck load full of sand, they bring you 20 yards. Well, you got 19.86 yards there. Maybe a little bit of wind erosion or something or, or some of the spillage out to the sides that account for the rest of it. But pretty accurate. Um, so I wanted you to see that. I wanted you to just see three-dimensional map because it's awesome and um, I went ahead and did this area too just because you can see that it gets a little funky um, under overhangs um, it gets really good resolution on things that it can see but when it when you have an overhang where you know the drones up here and can't really see it uh, it gets a little funky but other than that it really does a pretty good job of modeling the world uh, exactly as it is uh, water excluded as you can see there but um, interesting stuff I lost my train of thought I had something else I was going to talk about but I, I just would like to hear your thoughts on this if you've got some time and and or even your groundkeepers thoughts or anybody there uh, the course designer whoever um, I would like to hear your, what you guys think about this and if you think it's something that you know $500 a, a month for me to come out and, and scan it like this and show you the differences you can click back and forth between the dates and really tell uh, what is changing if, if some of these dead areas are getting larger or smaller then you would be able to see that on the thing um, you can also get free roof inspections for all your homeowners um, it's kind of silly but that's this is literally what the insurance companies do when they come out and they just do it you know for one house where we did it for the whole thing but you can measure the surface area you can see the damage you can say okay he's got 20 percent damage on his you know 2,000 square foot roof and uh, you know it, the all these things are important should we happen to have another nas natural disaster or god forbid you had a tornado come through or something like that you would have a uh, a nice visual and three-dimensional measurable you know you can measure these homes and measure your centers and your pools and you know I can tell you how much water your pool holds probably but <laughs> um, the things you can do with this are pretty amazing and I think it's very marketable to golf courses I'd like to hear your thoughts on that I'm not saying you have to do it but um, I would like to hear your thoughts on what you think uh, the interest would be from other golf courses so Again, I'm Jason now of Beach Drone Services. I took nine minutes of your day. I uh, hope it was worth it. And uh, all my contact information is in the email that I sent you. And I look forward to hearing from you if you think we can work together.